Hi listeners, you are welcome to the continuation of our physics class from your Fifth Rise Student Score Booster, your online tutorial provider on JAMP, WAEC, NECO, and NAPTIB exams. Uh, for today's lecture, we shall be considering the Nathan Stedler of Motion. I am by name Bangbade A. Before we proceed, we need to consider the learning outcomes of this particular presentation, which goes thus. At the end of this lecture, listeners should be able to state Newton's third law of motion. Also, listeners should be able to state the formula for momentum of a gun and momentum of a bullet. They should also be able to state the relationship between momentum of gun and that of bullet. I mean the, the relationship between the momentum of gun and the momentum of bullet. Listeners should also be able to calculate tensional force acting on objects inside a lift or an elevator. And lastly, they should be able to solve the UTME questions relating to Newton's third law of motion. Now on to Newton's third law of motion. We state that to every action there is equal and opposite reaction. To every action there is equal and opposite reaction. The typical example we want to consider in this case is the momentum of a gun which is equal and opposite to momentum of bullet if you can recollect from uh, video 3 on newton's second law of motion we talked about uh, momentum and there we describe momentum to be the product of the mass m of an object and the velocity u so similarly in this case the momentum of a gun will be the product of the mass of a gun, which is mg times the velocity of the gun, which is ug, while the momentum of bullets will also be the product of the mass of the bullet, which is mb times and the velocity of the bullet, which is ug. So if we apply this Newton's third law of motion here, that means the momentum of the gun will be mgug, which will now be equal to minus momentum of the bullet, which is mbub. So mg in this case is equal to mass of the gun in kilogram. U is velocity of the gun in meter per second. Why mb is the mass of the bullet in kilogram? UB will be the velocity of the bullet in meter per second. So in this case, what we are supposed to take note is that the momentum of the gun is equal and opposite to that of the bullet. Therefore, MGUG equals minus MBUB. Let's go to the UTME sample question. And the question we shall be considering comes from 1984 number 36 and the question goes thus a gun of mass 2.0 kilogram fires a bullet of mass 1.6 times 10 raised to power minus 2 kilogram due east if the bullet leaves the nose of the gun with a velocity of 1 meter per 150 meter per second what is the recoil velocity of the gun we have the option A to be 150 meter per second due east. Option B is 1.2 times 10 raised to power minus 4 meter per second due west. Option C is uh, 1.2 meter per second due west. Option D is 1.2 meter per second due east. While option E is 150 meter per second due west. Now on to solution. The first thing is to write out the given parameters. And uh, from the question, 
we are given the mass of the gun which is mg and is equal to 2.0 kilogram then we are also given the mass of the bullet which is mb and that is um, 1.6 times 10 to the minus 2 kilogram then you are not given the velocity of the gun ug that is why it's having question mark then the velocity of the bullet is given to be 150 meter per second now we have to recall that momentum of the gun is equal and opposite to the uh, momentum of the bullet and the momentum of the gun is a uh, mgug which will be equal to minus m b u b that is a uh, momentum of the bullet then when we substitute our mg mass of the gun is two kilogram times ug that is the velocity of the gun which is unknown is equal to mb that is mass of the bullet which is 1.6 times 10 is to the power minus 2 kilogram times the uh, ub that is velocity of the bullet which is 150 meter per second then we can make ug the subject by dividing both sides by 2 kilogram to get ug equals 1.6 times 10 is to the power minus 2 kilogram times 150 meter per second divided by 2 kilogram and that will give us 1.2 meter per second due west because they said that of bullet is due east and since the velocity of the gun will be opposite to that of bullet therefore the velocity of the gun will be due west since the velocity of the bullet is due east making option c the correct answer for this particular question so the answer is 1.2 meter per second due west now let's go to the forces acting on the body inside a lift for an object inside the lift two forces act on it the first is the weight of the object with w of the object inside the list lift and the second is the reaction r on the floor of the lift now we have four different condition for the object in the lift or an elevator the first is that for stationary elevator that's the elevator that is not moving at all then the force the tensional force will be equal to with mg which is also equal to reaction now the second condition is for the elevator or lift moving upward and for this the force the tensional force f1 will be the sum of the uh reaction and the weight and that will be m into a plus g m into a plus g that will be the tensional force then the third condition is for the elevator moving downward then the tensional force will be m into g minus a m into g minus a that is the difference between the weight and the reactant for an elevator moving upward it will be the sum of the weight and reactant and uh, reaction force but for an elevator moving downward it will be the difference between the weight and the reaction force and the last for the elevator falling freely then f is equal to zero we've been able to state four different conditions for this we say for a stationary elevator then the tensional force equals weight which is also equal to reactant then or reaction force then the second condition we made mention is for an elevator moving upward we said the tensional force will be the sum of the weight and the reaction so that will give us f1 equals m into a plus g then the third condition we mentioned is for an elevator moving downward so the tensional force will be the difference between the weight and the reaction so that will be f2 equals m into g minus a and the last condition of elevator is the 
elevator falling freely and for that the tensional force will be zero now let's consider the UTME sample questions and the first question we shall be considering comes from 2015 number four and the question goes thus what force has been exerted on a mass of 60 kilogram to give it an acceleration of 10 meter per second square upward then you are given acceleration g in bracket is equal to 10 meter per second square then you are given option a to be 600 newton option b is 1200 newton option c is 400 newton while option d is 300 newton now on to the solution so the first is to write out the given parameters and from the question you are given the mass of the object to be 60 kilogram then you are given the acceleration in the lift to be 10 meter per second square while the acceleration due to gravity is also 10 meter per second square uh, since they told us that the object the elevator is moving upward then we use the formula f equals m into a plus d that will be the sum of the weight and reactant for an accelerator moving upward and when we substitute for that our f will be equal to m which is 60 kilogram into a which is 10 plus g which is also 10 meter per second and that will give us 60 times 20 and that will be 1200 newton making option b the correct answer for this particular question now the next question we shall be considering comes from 2002 number nine and the question goes thus a, a body of mass weighing 80 newton stands in an elevator that is about to move the force exerted by the floor on the body as the elevator moves upward with an acceleration of five meter per second square is dash so we are given option A to be 160 Newton. Option B is 120 Newton. Option C is 80 Newton. While option D is 40 Newton. S then we are given in brackets that acceleration due to gravity G is equal to 10 meter per second square. Now solution to the question. We have uh, from the question we are given that weight of the object which is the product of mass and acceleration due to gravity of the object is 80 newton from this 80 newton we can calculate the mass out if you use w which is the weight equals mg then that will give us the m which is unknown now times g acceleration due to gravity that is 10 is equal to w which is 80 newton then we can make the mass of the object the subject by dividing 2 by 10 and that will give us m mass m equals 8 8 kilogram 8 kilogram now since that we've known the mass then we're also given the acceleration in the lift to be 5 meter per second square and uh, we know the acceleration due to gravity from the question that is equal to 10 meter per second square since they said the elevator is moving upward then the tensional force will be m into a plus g that will be the sum of the reaction and the weight so f equals m into a plus g and that will be equal to 80 uh, that will be equal to 8 kilogram into a which is 5 meter per second square plus g which is 10 meter per second square so that will give us 8 times 15 that will be 120 newton the next question we shall be considering comes from 1987 number six and the question goes thus an elevator of mass 4800 kilogram is supported by a cable which can safely withstand a maximum tension of 
60,000 newton. The maximum upward acceleration the accelerator can have is dash. So you have option A to be 2.5 meter per second square. Option B is 5.0 meter per second square. Option C is 7.5 meter per second square. While option D is 10.0 meter per second square. Then solution. The first is to write out the given parameters. In this case, we are given the mass to be 4,800 kilograms. Then we are given the tensional force itself, which is um, four, uh, which is 60,000 newton. That is the maximum tensional force. Then we are given the acceleration due to gravity, which is 10 meter per second square. Then they ask us to get the acceleration in the lift. For upward movement as usual, the tensional force can be written as T equals M into G plus A. So the T in this case, that's tensional force, is uh, 60,000 newton, which is equal to M. That is 4,800 kilogram into G, which is 10 meter per second square plus A, which is unknown. So we can divide both sides by 4,800 kilogram, and that will give us 60,000 newton divided by 4,800 will be equal to 10 plus A. 60,000 divided by 4,800 will give us 12.5, which is equal to 10 plus A. So if 12.5 is equal to 10 plus A, we can make A the subject by transferring 10 to the other side. And that will give us A equals 12.5 minus 10. And that will be A equals 2.5 meter per second square, making option A the correct answer for this particular question. Now on to practice questions from UTME, I mean for your own practice. And the first question you are provided with here comes from 1986, that is number 15. And the, questions go, the question goes thus, a 1000 kilogram elevator is descending vertically with an acceleration of 1.0 meter per second square. If the acceleration due to gravity is 10.0 meter per second, the tension in the suspending cable is dash. So you have option A here to be 1.0 newton, option B is uh, 10.0 newton, option C is 9,000.0 newton, while option D is uh, 11,000.0 newton. So the expected correct answer here is uh, option uh, C which is a 9,000.0 Newton. That is the correct answer. Then, the second practice question you are provided with comes from 2011, number four. And the question goes thus, a man standing on a lift descending does not feel any weight because dash. You have option A, there is no reaction from the floor of the lift. Option B says there is no gravitational pull on the man in the lift. Option C says the inside of the lift is airtight, while option D says the lift is in a vacuum. So the correct answer for this expected answer is uh, option A, meaning that there is no reaction from the floor of the lift. That is why what can make man not to feel any weight. Now, our next video will be on centripetal motion with uh, sample questions and solutions from the UTME. I urge you to please subscribe to our YouTube channel, like and share our videos as we promise to be bringing you more interesting uh, presentations and lectures on subjects related to you tell me so thank you